Good morning, folks. We've got solar tornadoes, rumblings in the ocean, the planets, magnetic fields, weather alerts, moon, water, Europa, and more. We're getting started over at spaceweathernews.com and checking out the last 24 hours on our star. Very clearly, there are no sunspots, no solar flares, no plasma filaments ejecting either. We are all quiet. We'll come zoomed in on the vertical standing filaments incoming on the northeastern limb. Nice coronal cavity on top of the solar tornadoes where the magnetic forces holding up the filament also expel the charged particles above it in the corona. Looking at the solar wind, please focus on purple. The plasma speed decreasing after the stream impact in yesterday's geomagnetic storm. We are all in quiet territory this morning. In 211 angstroms, we can see coronal holes turning towards the departing limb still likely have some intensified streams en route from them, increased seismic alert here entering the weekend. Although it wasn't the largest quake of the last day, a magnitude 4 in the Canary Islands got my attention as landslides nearby have likely caused the historical U.S. East Coast tsunamis from across the ocean every few thousand years or so. Let's come to the JPL orbital diagram for our solar system, finding Mercury and Venus on the verge of solar conjunction. While at sunspot minimum, we should never really expect too much activity, but we do see this alignment temporally correlated with relative increases in solar activity. Speaking of activity, we've seen some articles about the magnetic cage of a sunspot group. When a solar flare breaks through, there is a CME, and otherwise it will mostly just be the flare energy. Back in 2014, a massive sunspot group fell prey to that cage. Even after releasing an X-class solar flare, the cage remained, and instead of a CME, we can see the outside of the cage traced by plasma. Bright lines coming from either side do indeed arch over the whole grouping, but at lower densities than is visible directly over the sunspot. NOAA, very appropriately, has a large region of severe weather and flood risk today. The low-pressure system is going to burst out of the central states, and the convergence line cutting across the east will bring tornadoes, lightning, hail, and flash flooding. The heavy rain is expected to continue on Sunday as well. While we're on the topic of water, it appears that the moon has way more of it than expected, as in everywhere, all latitudes. Up next, we have even more water on Europa. A Brazilian team has modeled the chemistry of the Jovian moon and determined that while we can't know if life exists under the ice, they are pretty darn sure it would support it. Folks, I did an interview on the Suspect Sky channel last night. I've had some different ideas about the great cosmic voids and the highest energy radio bursts best place for those is indeed that channel. It's linked for you below. And as a reminder, we've got your Observing the Frontier Conference videos posted to suspiciousobservers.org. Got six on there so far. More are coming. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.